Hey there, my name is John Siskovich. I'm here in Western Connecticut on my farm with a few chickens to answer your questions uh, that you wrote in from farmmarketingsolutions.com. At the bottom of the page, ask me a question, I'm making a video. There's my sad prepubescent rooster just trying to crow away. Uh, Anna Sophia wrote in and she was asking about winter chicken coops and keeping chickens throughout the winter. Uh, we're gonna answer that in today's video because this is not a good winter setup. <laughs> Freaking bird. All right, <clears throat> so this is a summer setup for chickens. I am raising some pullets in here that I'm gonna move into several chicken tractors, one with roosts, one with nesting boxes, uh, and then a, a large poultry net around them. You guys will see that if you subscribe and then watch the updates as we go through the rest of the season this year. Now, <clears throat> they're gonna get more space, uh, but this is a good summer setup. They have plenty of airflow. It's gonna be 90 degrees today. The white tarp is reflective. Uh, so it helps keep them cooler. They're moved every day, so they're not on their manure. It's easy to manage them. It takes me less than five, less than five minutes a day, and uh, it's great in the summertime. Now, come winter, there's gonna be snow on the ground. You know, you do pasture poultry, you can raise chickens while the grass grows, but the grass is not growing. You gotta have somewhere where they can get out of the elements because chickens don't do well if they're just out in the world. You know, they're, they're from Southeast Asia originally. They're not made for, you know, my New England weather where we can get 24 inches of snow in a day. And uh, yeah, birds don't like that. So what do I do for the winter? I've done several things in the past. My largest flock was uh, 400 birds. And then I've kept a variety between two and 400 birds over the winter before. Um, there's some core tenants of what you want in your winter housing, what you're looking to set up. If you want more egg production, you're gonna to need to put lights on them. If you wanna just let them rest for the winter, you can do no lights. You want it to be well ventilated, so as their, uh, as their manure builds up a little bit, they can, that air can escape, any ammonia or vapors can escape, uh, so they're not smelling it. Um, <clears throat> but you don't want it to be breezy. Now when birds in the winter eat, well in the summer or the winter, when they eat, they metabolize that, and they're covered by a big down comforter, like you laying in your bed, all comfortable. Those birds are covered in feathers. When they eat, about five hours after they eat, their peak metabolic heat hits and they produce heat and it sticks in those feathers. Can I say heat like nine more times in the sentence? Uh, it stays in their feathers and then that's how they stay warm. So they eat a little bit more, they drink a little, they drink a little bit more to help them process that feed. They make a little bit more heat and they stay warmer. And if the wind blows through their feathers, it's gonna knock that heat out and they're gonna get cold. So you wanna keep them draft free, you wanna keep them dry, uh, you wanna keep them well ventilated and you wanna make sure their feed and water does not run out, especially the water. Uh, water is really critical factor. Every, no matter what time of year it is, you don't ever want it to get super dirty and you don't want it to run out. You, your chicken waterers should be as clean as if you were gonna drink out of them yourself. So if you go through some of my playlists, if you find one on raising chickens, you'll see previous videos and setups of me walking through what my chicken, winter chicken setups were. Uh, it's bigger than bigger topic and more time than this video. <clears throat> but there's a very good chance I'm gonna keep these birds through the winter. My good chicken winter setups have been allocated to other things, so I don't have a good place to put them for this winter. So I'm gonna have to create something, find something, have a solution uh, to, to have all those factors taken care of for my birds for the winter. So you're gonna see that uh, as we get into the fall, I'm gonna set this up well before winter so that when it, it's time to move the birds in, I'm ready to go. And that way you have time to watch the video, see what I'm doing, and then make improvements and be even better than me in the future. <clears throat> so winter setup, does a chicken tractor work? No. Does it work for the summer? Fantastically. These birds are safe, they're comfortable, they're moved all the time, they're gonna get a little bit more space as they grow. Uh, this is the same kind of housing I use for my broiler meat chickens, which I don't keep through the winter because they have a two month lifespan. Uh, but I keep egg layers about two years on the farm uh, and then they go to soup. Anna Sophia, I hope that answers your question. I hit you all with a lot of details and this was meant to spark some discussion, some questions, see what you guys are interested for keeping animals over the winter. Uh, and then I'll be able to plot out what you guys wanna see 
for this fall season of Farm Marketing Solutions on YouTube by your responses to today's video. So that's it. If you want your question answered, you can go to farmmarketingsolutions.com. Go to the bottom of the home page and you can ask me your question I will answer it here on video tomorrow we're going to Lance Shore he has a question about video editing itself which I think is kind of fun I'm gonna share with you guys how I got to the first 10,000 subscribers on YouTube uh, and what I've done since then and how I've utilized that information and resource uh, on my farm thanks for taking the time to watch this video and until next time I will see you out in the field mm -hmm.